Hey guys, Chasta here with the one and only Baby Huey for Soundwaves TV. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. This is so easy because, <laughs> first of all, you guys, um, I work with this dude every day of my life. I see him about a thousand more times than I see my husband. I would say pretty much anyone in your life. Anyone probably. in my life. Yeah. I spend six Same for me. like six hours, seven hours a day with you. <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, we know each other a little bit. And since I knew you were coming on the show today, I wore my Metallica shirt i am her. bummed i would wear my ride the lightning shirt oh you totally could have man i was trying to be nice today. he was trying to dress up for you guys i did my hair i would <laughs> have, usually have my hat on at work and everything he got his hair cut even for you guys i know yeah thank He's you best hair in radio that's what we call him <laughs> so we work at 1077 the bone together every single day yes uh we do facebook live videos yeah that have been a big sensation <laughs> We do it twice a week. I wish I could do that, too. I know. Oh, you can. Just work it. Work it, baby. Oh, uh, We do Mondays, and then we do uh, Thursdays, Thursdays as yes. well. So if you ever want to find us on Facebook Live, super easy. Just search out 1077 The Bone, and you can find us in our oftentimes ADD-ridden videos. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny. We have, like, a general concept when we go into it, and then... It just usually opens up you and I riffing about stuff from that weekend. It just goes wherever. Something from that morning that mm -hmm. we dealt with. It just goes all over the place. But it's fun because I feel like we get to open up and the listeners can get learn more about us as people, our personality. They learn too into. much about us. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, we should change it to like the TMI <laughs> Facebook Live episode right now. TMI with Shasta and Baby Huey. Yeah. Absolutely. So 1077 The Bone on Facebook for that. And uh, yeah, we call our ADD moments Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> because whenever we just go off on our tangents, it's squirrel moments. But it's a lot of fun. I mean, we're taking advantage of just social media today and how it reach our audience yeah. in different ways. Because, you know, on the radio, you know, sometimes we got to be quick in and out of breaks, out of the songs. Yeah. But Facebook Live, we can kind of just have we a little more just, time to breathe and just talk rip. about ourselves. Yeah, talk <laughs> about ourselves. Yes, because that's why they want to listen. Just hear about us. That's what we're best at. Make right? our egos feel better. Yeah, we do have a podcast. We should probably mention that yes, as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so we do that. Every once in a while. Whenever. <laughs> well, we could blame the other guy for that yeah, one. Yeah, so we do have another guy. Uh, his name is Bimbo Jimbo. Um, and so he's on our podcast as well. So it's called uh, The Second Shift, and it's on 1077thebone.com. You can find that very Check easily. Check it out. Yeah. It's usually us two making fun of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or him making fun of me and my vacation schedule. I was going to say. That's an inside joke. You should listen for that reference. It's easy for you to make fun of him because he's not here. Yes, totally. If he's here right now, he'd be trolling me. Yeah, that's That's absolutely. for you, Jimbo. Really? Oh, God. Oh, oh. man. Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh, geez. Okay. He's like professional. I know. <laughs> wow. Mailbag. Damn. Okay, so I have no idea what's coming, just so you know. Like, truly. Not like, that's not a TV joke. I really don't know what's coming. So. Shouldn't, shouldn't you rip it and go... Oh, yeah, you should have done that. All right, so Baby Huey. Okay. Mm, name an artist I know I should hate, but I secretly love them. So who do you, who should you hate, but you secretly, like, you're embarrassed to admit you love them? <laughs> okay, I have, my immediate reaction is <laughs> Nickelback. Wow. I, I will wait, go ahead and wait. admit, I love them too. No, go for it. Go for it. Okay, that's the thing. Isn't it like, we've talked about this on the air before. Yeah. It's like the cool thing is to hate on Nickelback. It is. But a couple of reasons. One, they've sold like what, a gazillion? Is like that, 50 million. Is, is that a word, gazillion? It is now. Yeah. Like 50 albums. million albums. So who's buying them? Absolutely. Well, we secretly are. <laughs> Who is buying those albums? Two, I've been to a few of their concerts. It's some of the most fun concerts I've ever been to. Mm -hmm. And they are packed. So there's a lot That's of people true. there at that concert. So they must be fans as well. And also, I will say this. To me, going to a Nickelback concert, it's like the Bon Jovi of our generation. They have Ooh. like hit song after hit, hit song. song. Yeah, no, that's true. So when you're there, you're like, oh, I know that one. Oh, I know that one. And it's just at the party. And everybody knows the words. Exactly. So everyone buys their CDs. They go to the shows and they know all the words. So they secretly love them too. Yes. So on the sheet, it says to prove your love to Nickelback. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, okay, prove my love. Prove well, your love. Oh, hmm. well, I do know because they were the theme for Monday Night Raw, WWE's Monday Night Raw, for many years. So the fact that I heard them every Monday night for how many years that ran as the theme song shows that I love Nickelback. You from love that Nickelback. Sense. Because can, of wrestling. Can I just wrestling get, brings it together. Can I get a direct shot into the camera and just say, I love Nickelback? <laughs> just say, I'm Baby Huey and I love Nickelback. You're going to use this back on me. <laughs> yes, I will. This is you proving your love for Nickelback. Chad, Mr. Chad Kroger. I'm Baby Huey, and I love Nickelback. Beautiful. Now you're going to use this against me. I will absolutely use it against you. I love you. Thank you for being Thank a you. good sport. You're welcome. <laughs>
It's okay. I love Nickelback too. Man, I'm trying to think. I should change my answer now. Mm, I'm trying to think nope, who else is out. Nope. What about done. you? It's done. It's on film. I'm trying to think who else could I I supposed to hate. By you ready for this one? Yeah. I'll drop one on you. Miley Cyrus. Yeah, I mean, but I ain't scared. Well, she definitely. Deep down, she has a badass voice. She does. She's an insane singer. So Absolutely. I'm fine with that. Nickelback and Miley Cyrus, where are you at? Where are you at? Go on tour. It's the <laughs> Huey and Chasta tour. <laughs> All right. We need to hit your socials. Tell everybody where to find you. Uh, follow me on Facebook at Baby Huey Official, Twitter and Instagram at Baby Huey 83. Post all fun stuff. And of course, follow 1077 The Bone, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's the right handle for that. See our crazy faces yeah. from time to time. True story. 1077thebone.com is like our personal journal. Yeah. We, we treat it as like. We're the, the only ones that put stuff up there. <laughs> I know. That's the real talk. Real talk. Yeah. <laughs> we're supposed to get like more lessons on that. They always trade up. We're the only ones in those classes. I know. Exactly. We're the only ones that use the tips. So yes. 1077thebone.com to find this guy. Thanks for being here, babe. Thank you. Love you. <laughs>